<laughs> Labor Day gives people a reason to celebrate in Buena Vista, and it gives our politicians an opportunity to win your vote. Some big name Virginia leaders were in town for this year's Labor Fest. ABC 13's Rachel Branning shares their message. Politicians from both sides of the aisle took the stage here in Buena Vista today, sharing their perspectives on the upcoming election with an incredibly passionate crowd. <laughs> A wave of red, white, and blue filled Glenmory Park for the 53rd annual Labor Fest. Some of the biggest names in Virginia politics came out for the celebration. And when we come together on a day like today and we think about jobs and we think about the dignity of work and we think about opportunities, unlimited, unbridled opportunities in the Commonwealth of Virginia, well, that's the time to celebrate. During this decades-long tradition, Democrats sit on the left while Republicans sit on the right. From cheers of support to shouts of opposition. It's a passionate atmosphere in the park, kicking off election season. I've probably been to seven or eight of them. Uh, it's always exciting because it is the start of the home stretch of any campaign. We come to Buena Vista Monday morning of Labor Day weekend, and then it's off to the races between now and November 5. Senator Tim Kaine's opponent, Hung Cow, marched in the parade but left before the speeches. Current Congressman Ben Klein took to the stage, and so did his two opponents, Ken Mitchell and Robert Wells. Then Lieutenant Governor Winsome Sears riled up the crowd. We are talking about what does it look like for Tensions ran high as folks on both sides of the aisle shared their thoughts. But even with their differences, at the end of the day, folks united on one thing. People need to get out and vote in November. Folks here told me that this was the liveliest crowd they've seen at Labor Fest in a long time. They say that this upcoming election is incredibly important and they're glad Buena Vista plays a small role in the much bigger picture. In Buena Vista, Rachel Branning, ABC 13 News.